This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Chromebook 13 3380, and I'm going to show you how to replace a screen on a Dell Chromebook 13 3380. Okay, first let's get a couple things out of the way. How to identify this model? Real easy. On the bottom it says Chromebook 13 3380. 80. Okay, next thing is each time the laptop is open and closed, it's going to turn on. So we want a laptop turned off while we're replacing the screen. So what we want to do is um, either go down here, shut down, or long press the power button. That will turn it off. Next, let's talk about the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the screwdriver size. We have a smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver, a pair of metal tweezers to pry things open, manipulate cables, a hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up adhesive tape, and a spudger tool to pry things open. Uh, even though this Chromebook looks a lot like other uh, Dell and HP and Lenovo Chromebooks, um, this one it's a little bit more difficult to extract the screen than others and I'll show you the differences in what to do. So first thing we want to do is there's a hinge cover on the bottom and that's separate from the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. So what we want to do is pry off the hinge cover. And the way I found works best is to use the spudger tool and go in the seam between the bezel and the hinge cover and just uh, move it forward like, like this. Snap it forward. There's some uh, catches there. And the next thing what you want to do is get the metal tweezers and there's a gap here. Just go in and just lift up the hinge cover like this. Now to put it back on, I found a good way also. So just put it back on, snap it in the best you can. Close the laptop, then uh, go from the bottom and snap it in like so. Uh, the first time you open up the screen, open up the laptop, it's going to be a little bit harder. After that, it's going to be easier. Okay, so the laptop is going to turn on again while we're turning it off. While it's still turning on, I'm going to pry open the hinge cover. Again, turn off the laptop and lift up the hinge cover again, like so, and remove it. Okay, once we remove it, we're going to have to remove a total of seven screws from the bezel to remove the screen bezel. Uh, on some laptops, there's no screws at all. Some laptops, there's maybe four max, but rarely, rarely do you see seven screws need to be removed. So there's three on the bottom. We're going to remove those three first. One. two and three and then there's four on each and there's four on the corners they're hiding behind some plastic screw covers so we take our hobby knife lift up the screw covers to expose the screws like so for each side and put the screw covers next to the openings so we don't lose them three and four, and then remove the four screws. So, one, two, three, and four. Okay, the next issue that we run into when snapping off the screen bezel is that they use a lot of adhesive to adhere the screen bezel to the screen itself. Um, if, if you get impatient or if you want to speed up the process, what I would recommend is using a blow dryer to warm up the adhesive so it comes off easier. This is the second time I've done this so there's less adhesive, but there's going to be a lot of adhesive here and a lot here. So to snap it off, you lift 
use your fingertips for fingernails, lift upward and outward. So there's still a little bit of adhesive, but not nearly as much as the first time. And when removing the bottom of the screen, uh, the plastic film or the, the black plastic flexible film on top of the screen is going to want to come with the bezel. And so we want to keep that plastic film on the screen itself, not with the bezel. So maybe run the spudger alongside to keep the plastic film with the screen. So it's not a problem for this one because we've done this before. So we'll snap off the screen bezel. Okay, next we have the screen. Uh, we want to separate the screen from the screen assembly. And to do that, there's four screws on the sides. Uh, there's the metal tabs are on the sides rather than on top and bottom. So we use our screwdriver once again. And for this, there are different screws. So we start a separate pile of screws for these. And when we do this, we keep the screen tilted back so that the screen doesn't fall forward when we remove all the screws. So that's three, and then that's four. Once we do that, we lift up the screen by the side metal tabs and gently lay it on the keyboard, making sure not to touch this power button so we don't turn it on. Okay, next what we want to do is remove the adhesive tape with our hobby knife so we can get to the connector. And once we start the tape, we can use our fingertips to lift it up. And to free the connector, there's a metal bar here that we have to lift up. And I can use my hobby knife to lift up this metal bar like this. Once this metal bar is lifted up, we can disengage the connector, just pull it back like so. To put the connector back in, we slide the connector back in. It will feel, but not here, two clicks. And then snap the plastic or the metal bar metal wire bar back in. So let's remove this again and take the connector out. Okay, so let's look at this screen. It's a 13.3 inch EDP HD resolution screen. HD is 1366 by 768. Some future version of this laptop model might have a FHD screen and for that, the part number would be different and possibly the connector also. But uh, most likely the connector will stay the same, but the part number will be different. So you gotta know which resolution it is. The second thing that's unusual about this 13 inch screen is that the metal mounting tabs are on the sides rather on the top and bottom. So this is specific to Dell. Dell likes to do that. Other 13.3 inch EDP screens that go into other Chromebooks will have the metal tabs on top and bottom. So you gotta make sure that you get a screen specific to this Chromebook model. So we have the part number. The part number is N133BGE E31. Now besides that, besides knowing the part number, you have to know that the metal, metal tabs are on the sides rather than on the top and bottom. You can buy this exact same screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. We carry this particular screen in stock to re as a replacement for Chromebooks. And most likely this is used in a school or a school district. We work with school districts directly and we accept purchase orders. To contact us regarding a school district purchase, please go to our website, www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a tab at the top or link at the top that says schools, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out so we can get started working with your school or school district. Uh, if you're an individual that wants to buy this screen, uh, go to our website, www.screensurgeons.com. On the front page, there will be a um, place where you put in the model number and that will guide you to buy the right screen online. And uh, we ship for free priority mail shipping in the United States, two, three day delivery. And we can also ship to most countries around the world. This screen comes with a two year warranty and free email technical support. 
also this exact same toolkit that I used in this video that comes for free with the screen so you'll have everything you need to replace the screen on this laptop when you do get your screen in um, make sure that it's the right one the tabs are on the sides and there's a 30 pin connector a small connector here that fits this connector from the laptops so reconnect the connector like I showed you uh, put the screen back in the screen assembly put the two screws in the top two screws in the, at the bottom snap the bezel back on put the scra seven screws into the bezel and then put the hinge cover back on for the hinge cover this part that goes on top is the one with the plastic tab sticking out that's on top the bottom does not have any plastic tabs so that's the way to tell okay that's it once again my name is Eugene Penrithwich I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com thank you very much and good luck